from West Africa, the first military coup was in Togo. And that was about 1963 when Nigeria had its first republic. And after that, there have been a number of military coups in, 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 in Africa, even in West Africa. And of course, some of the reasons that led to this military coup here and there, especially the one we have in Nigeria, we have in Nigeria rather, was, you know, military coup begets military coup. It's infectious. So as nations continue to, uh, military uh, government continue to talk with the civilian government in other nations, Nigeria borrowed a leaf and started in 19, January 15, 1966. Of course, another reason is because of uh, the party politics that was played, uh, ethnic politics rather, that was played during the First Republic of, of uh, Nigeria. A number of political parties, the NMPC, the, NPC, the AG, and the NCNT, who claimed to have national outlook, never had national outlook. They were all regional parties. And because of that, there was this lo loyalty and allegiance people give to, to people from the ethnic group. There was no national consciousness. And this lack of national consciousness threatened the corporate existence of Nigeria, of the nation. And of course, this corporate existence that is threatened, or that was threatened, if not checked, would have led possibly to the collapse of the nation. And so the military saw this coming and decided to wait in to forestall what was going to be a disaster. Again, it was because of nepotism and mind-boggling corruption that bedeviled the civilian government. So the military felt that if this anomaly was not checked, the nation was going to be wrecked. And so they stepped in to forestall an impending doom. Of course, it was more like a kettle calling pot black because when the military government came into power, it was not any better. And of course, we know that in a military government, a huge section of the constitution is abandoned, especially freedom of right, or freedom of speech rather, freedom of association, and of course, opposition is totally rubbish and relegated to the background. No one is allowed to oppose the, 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 the military government. So these are some of the circumstances and issues uh, that we witnessed, or that was witnessed, during military rule in Nigeria. There was about nine or so military uh, attempts in Nigeria, but five successful, successfully carried out military rule in Nigeria, out of about the eight recorded in Nigeria alone. Now that will be it for military government in Nigeria. We shall now focus on conflict resolution and management. We shall now start with first, what is conflict? Yes, conflict is a state of open and often prolonged fight or struggle. That's what we mean by conflict. Whatever that is an open, sometimes it may not be open, it could be in us. It could be happening right under. But so long as there is a struggle or a fight, whether inside or whether covert or overt, then there is a conflict. Now we shall not consider types of conflicts. What are the types of conflict we have? Let us start with interpersonal conflict. This is a conflict between two individuals, Mr. A and Mr. B, are having issues over who should sweep the compound and who should not sweep the compound. I swept the compound yesterday. It's your turn to sweep the compound today. Come on, I've been sweeping the compound a week ago. It's your turn to sweep it today. That is an interpersonal conflict between Mamaga and Mamejima. The next is intrapersonal conflict. Unlike the interpersonal conflict, that is a struggle between two different individuals. The intrapersonal conflict is a conflict within an individual. Within an individual. It happens inside of an individual. You go to the market, for instance, you have 10,000 there. You want to buy a pair of shoes. You probably want to buy um, a textbook. And the textbook sells for 10,000 there. The pair of shoes sells for 10,000 there. And you have an exam to write. And perhaps you need a textbook so badly, you will probably need a pair of shoes. Then you need to ask, which one do I go for? Whatever is happening inside of you at that moment is as a result of intrapersonal conflict. It is happening right inside of you. The decision of who to marry to is equally an intrapersonal conflict. Do I marry a fair, tall, light-skinned lady? Or 
light skin lady with an empty head or a brief muscular very intelligent lady it brings about into a personal conflict it happens right inside of you which one you decide to go for is totally your business the next conflict or type of conflict is the intra-group conflict this one is a conflict that happens within a group within a group of person it could be a number of persons say like 15 persons in group a whatever conflict they have among them in that group is captured under the intra-group conflict and the next is inter-group conflict did you hear that i said inter-group conflict that is the group that the conflict rather that happens among two or more different group group a probably comprising 10 percent and group b probably comprising another 10 percent whatever conflict that happens among these people or between this group of persons is captured under inter-group conflict now what are the causes of conflict by the way why do people fall into conflicting issues and manners why do people even battle over over this and over that what are the causes of conflict we want to know we shall take three three that's not all it's not exhaustive we have a whole lot but for the sake of time we should consider just three the first is personality differences that that, that will bring about conflict the, especially given the fact that we were not born by the same father and mother well remotely speaking we are born by the same father and mother but immediately speaking we are not born by the same father and mother we do not have all have the same background we all come from different backgrounds speak different tongues do different things eat different food imagine yourself you are easterner just like yours faithfully and now you are in the west okay and perhaps you've never witnessed someone eat amala in the way they do with the soup on top of it on top of a, on top of a black mass of body which happens to become amala and the first time you see that you scream ah brother what are you eating you're eating dirt. That could cause a conflict between you and the other person who believes he's eating a delicacy, the best of all meals for the Yorubas. Because you are not aware of this. This is not your way of life. Most of us who went to the North some time ago, we found it very difficult to relate with the Northerners because of their extremist behavior, especially religious extremism, cultural extremism. Personality differences could bring about conflict. You don't understand this fellow, he doesn't understand you because of the fact that you guys are coming from different backgrounds. You don't understand his language, he doesn't understand your language. That could bring about conflict. So we capture that under personality differences. The next is non compliance of rules and policies. If the boss in your office, for instance, says you must come to work at exactly 7 a.m., except of course you can prove that there was a heavy traffic. And you take it upon yourself to always report to work at 8.30, sometimes even 9 and 10. For sure, you have laid the foundation for conflict between you and your boss. He's definitely going to ask you why, probably issue you a query, and if you refuse to reply to the query, you have a problem with him. And that problem arises because of non-compliance of rules and policies. And when students refuse to listen to their teachers, and they create a channel for conflict between them and their teachers. You don't want to do your assignment, you attend classmates, you have disobeyed the rules and regulations and the policies of the school. So you'll be ready to present your back for some caning. The next is misunderstanding. Yes, you don't understand the reason Mr. A has said what he said. Someone told you that Mr. A says that your wife bought a number of things from her and did not pay. You get to immediately perhaps you are giving your wife the money to pay and so someone tells you that your wife had come to her stall and must have gotten something and never paid and the moment you get down to your house you give your wife the beating of his day or the beating of his life that could be as a result of misunderstanding you could be on her way to get to the shop the money fell off or something happened along the line she could no longer pay if you have listened to her perhaps she would have given you tangible reason why it happened the way it did so because of misunderstanding you see yourself turning your wife into a punching bag sometimes it could be because of what she has said and the way she has said it wrongly so misunderstanding could lead to conflict especially in the family now, what are the